and welcome to BNC Sports. I'm James Hill. NBA playoffs just in. Kevin Durant with 42 points while Jason Tatum dropping in 40 points. The Brooklyn Nets 141, Boston Celtics 126 year final. Meanwhile, on the west side, the Phoenix Suns visiting the Los Angeles Lakers. Let me take you out to downtown LA. Game four, NBA Lakers hosting the Suns. Second quarter, check out LeBron James goes upstairs. Boom, he slams it in. LBJ with 25 points, 48-44 Lakers still in the second Second quarter, watch CP3, Chris Paul. He will can two of his 18 points. He had nine assists. Suns lead by one in the fourth quarter. Check out Jay Crowder out of Marquette pulling up. Yes, it is good from the left side. Phoenix is hot like an egg in a frying pan in the Phoenix sunlight. Phoenix 100, LA Lakers 92, your final. All right, also in action, NBA playoffs in Atlanta, New York at Hotlanta. First quarter, R.J. Barrett spins, passes, and throws it to Derrick Rose. He knocks in the three-pointer. Look at Spike Lee, 7-4, New York, feeling good about it. In the second, Derrick Rose finding Taj Gibson, and then later, Trey Young with the floater. Money and one on the play. The Atlanta Hawks win the game, folks. They get this one done at home in front of their fans. Hawks 113, New York 98. Your final, the Hawks take a three to one commanding lead. Game five Wednesday in New York City. All right, Major League Baseball, Royals at Twins. Bottom of the fifth, Miguel Sano grounding into the double play. Josh Donaldson plates a run, five to three. Kansas City, top of the ninth, Hunter Dozier, boom! Slaps it to the left side. The solo jack home run out of target field. Kansas City Royal six, Minnesota Twins three, your final. All right, the 100th and fifth Indianapolis 500, the largest sporting crowd since the COVID-19 pandemic with two laps to go. Helio Castroneves, the Spider-Man making his move around and capturing his fourth Indianapolis 500, becoming the fourth person driver to win four 500s. That's a beautiful thing. He uh, kisses the bricks, drinks some, uh, uh, some milk there. Beautiful thing. That is the celebration. All right, motorsports. Charlie Wiggins, Joey Ray, and Willie T. Ribs are just a few black auto racing heroes. Annually, the racing industry looks forward to the Indianapolis 500. Chris Miles with Starting Grid talks about racing. Check out this BNC Sports exclusive part three. Indy Sports and also NASCAR, where do you see it going for uh, young African Americans, young black people, even brothers over in Zimbabwe who want to ride? You know, it's... It's a catch-22 if you want to know the truth. Um, these organizations are doing something. I would classify that as doing something that is intentional, but I can't say it's something that is authentic. Um, I just, just to talk about what I just mentioned in regards to Willie T, how are you authentic with the diversity and inclusion program, but you don't have Willie T, <laughs> it was the first African American to break the color barrier at Indianapolis in 1991. You don't have myself associated with it uh, that's been involved in this sport for nearly three decades. Um, so where is the authenticity when you really want to try and showcase to young people in the sport that you can be a part of it? Uh, we look at the broadcast today on television uh, within the IndyCar ranks. I was the first African American to host a racing magazine show, but I have not been on national network television since 2000 covering motorsport. Uh, I haven't forgot about the industry or the sport. James obviously know how to cover sports. How you have not had opportunities to cover uh, the world of motorsports is still mind boggling. So when you look at IndyCar and NASCAR, let's stop going after the immediate uh, eyeball grabbing, uh, attention grabbing scenarios that you can put in a little press release. Let's look deep.
All right, thank you, sir. Finally, it's time for our King of the Hill, Rube Foster, a Negro League baseball manager, founder, and owner, is our BNC King of the Hill. Andrew Rube Foster was born September 17th, 1879 in Calvert, Texas. He passed back on December 9th in 1930 in Kankakee, Illinois. Foster began his career with the Waco Yellow Jackets, an independent black baseball team back in 1897. His last season as a player was back in 1917 with the Chicago American Giants. Rube Foster, known as the father of black baseball, was elected into the Hall of Fame in 1981. Rube Foster is our BNC King of the Hill. We will be right back.